Hi, my name is Mike Schwartz and I'm the Managing Director of iTech Minerals. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the recent drill results we have received on our Kalen and Rare Earth Element prospects on the Air Peninsula, in particular the, the Karalu Bluff prospect which is situated in the, the central part of the Air Peninsula in South Australia. So we drilled the Karalu Bluff prospect uh, earlier this year and we drilled approximately 260 drill holes across an area of about 12 by 12 kilometres, so, so quite a large area. Uh, so we've been waiting for some time for these drill results to come back from the lab. Uh, and just earlier this week, we released 68 drill holes in batch number three. And as you can see from the diagram here, we got some pretty significant uh, thick intersections of rare earths in the regolith or clay hosted material, very close to surface. So some of the better intersections uh, were from drill hole 77, where we drilled 18 meters at over 2000 ppm total rare earths from just four meters below surface. Uh, there was another drill hole, number 83, where we intersected a really thick interval of 32 meters at 1,233 ppm. And that again was just from four meters below surface. Most importantly, from that batch of drill results, it extended the area of the known rare earth element mineralization at Caribou Bluff down towards the southeast of that prospect area. And you can see now that that uh, rare earth element footprint extends for well over 10 kilometers by nine kilometers. So we have significantly expanded that area of known rare earth element mineralization. So more recently, we've just released the results from another 27 drill holes, which we reported from batch four. Uh, and again, these drill results produced quite a number of significant high grade and thick intersections uh, from near surface. So for example, drill hole number 71 intersected 12 meters at 2,343 ppm total rare earth uh, element oxides, and that was only from nine meters below the surface. Drill hole 74 intersected 17 meters at 1,774 ppm total rare earth, and that again was just from four meters below the surface. So as you can see from all these drill holes, we're getting nice thick intervals, anywhere between 12 to 17 meters thick uh, of good grades of turtle rare earths uh, from very close to surface. So one of the other things that I'd like to point out is that where we're getting these high grade rare earth element results, we are also getting nice intersections of bright white kaolin. Now, this is important because at the Karalu Bluff prospect, as we are with a number of other prospects, we're looking at the potential for producing a, a kaolin product uh, that can be used in things like cement or in paper or paint or ceramics. Um, but also while we're processing that kaolin material, extracting the rare earths from it um, and producing two products. So producing a kaolin product and also producing a rare earth element concentrate uh, and rare earth element oxides. So as you can see from these pictures, wherever the rare earths are occurring in high concentrations, quite often we're also getting that bright white kaolin interval. So as far as I know, this is quite a unique situation that iTech has. So really where to from here? Uh, the next major bit of information that we would like to uh, uncover is how we can easily extract these rare earths from the clays. So we need to understand what form these rare earths are in. So whether they're colloidal, which means we can use a uh, an acid leach or whether they are largely ionic, which means that we can uh, extract them at a pH of four using an ammonium sulfate solution. So if we can get reasonable recoveries using either of those techniques, then we can, we're well on the way to um, establishing a cheap uh, and economic extraction method to get those rear airs out of the clays. So we have now sent off at least 60 samples for metallurgical test work and that test work is well advanced and we're hoping within the next month to get that, the results of that test work back for Carolou Bluff and we'll then be releasing that to the market uh, as those results become available. So thanks for listening to me today. Um, very excited about the developing results at Carolou Bluff. We still have in the order of 100 drill holes to report. Uh, so watch this space as we release more results from Carolou Bluff. Thank you.